everyone, it's Linda here, Linda Pearson. I'm one of Natalie May's brand ambassadors here this tonight, um, doing another live with you. To tonight, as you can see, I'll be working with the um, Alice collage papers that Nat has, and um, there's all of the Natalie May scrapbooking details and all of the information that you need. And so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, just put this aside. Okay, so we're going to be working with these beautiful um, papers and um, we're going to prepare tonight. I'm actually going to be doing a canvas. And um, so I just wanted to do something different with them because I wanted to put all of these um elements together so I thought hmm let's do a canvas because I think it'll look nice in the studio so I have been playing this afternoon with um, some paint colors and trying to work out what I was wanting to do with this today and so I'll go through um, how I've come up with these color swatches with you in a moment and um, yeah so let's get started I'll just put these aside because we won't need these at this point I shall grab my canvas. Okay, here we go. Just making sure I'm on camera. All right. So um, this is actually a pre-recorded session um, that has been uploaded. So it might look a little bit different to what I normally do, but anyway, it's all good. So I've got a 40 by 40 canvas here, um, a double double thickness because I, I like the double thickness because it just is more meaty and they don't warp like some of the thin ones but anyway uh yes yeah, so i'm going to do this and i am going to cover the whole thing with a a, a, a fairly darkish um colored background and then i'm going to lighten it up as as we come through and put the collage papers on so in order to do that i'm going to be doing a few little color mixings here just moving things out the way that's it hopefully you can see my I'll just move over a little bit so that you can see my um, palette a bit easier all right so um, the colors that I've, I've worked on here is this is night but it's night with white because I want to bring it down I may even bring it down even more than what I've got here but I want to, um, I want a, a sort of a mid-tone, not too dark, but not too light either. So I probably will go a little bit lighter because with a lot of acrylic paints, they actually dry um, a shade darker than, than when you mix them up. So, you know, sometimes it's always best to go a shade lighter and then you get the right one that you want. And so I'll just bring up the collage paper here. So I was looking at the, um, the Alice picture here and I was wanting to sort of try and um, mix up to this color here so in order to get that I think I've got it pretty close there I don't know if you can sort of see but it's probably a bit bluier but um, it, as long as it's sort of close but I've actually mixed ocean and lapis together to get that so I've got these two colors here so um, when I look at it on the screen, I'm just having a look. It's probably a bit bluer on the, well, on the screen that I'm seeing here than, than it is in real life. It's actually quite a good blend. But as long as it's close, it, it's okay. And so then I also was looking at this collage paper too because I wanted to get a couple, excuse me, reaching over here. I wanted to get a couple of um, colours that were close to what the papers were. So I was sort of kind of focused on the, the hat and I started off with blackberry and magenta. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. And then I went on to fuchsia and blackberry. Yeah, getting closer. And then I went to eggplant and blackberry. And I kind of figured that that was probably a better mix too. So I've got all of those um, that I can mix up a little bit later. Also too, just to throw in a little bit, because there's other colours in here as well. I've got these two out. 
as well because I'm using all um, Dina Wakely tonight. I've got Penny and I've got Medieval. These are actually sort of metallic or sh shimmer, I suppose, because um, I can sort of see a little bit of brown in her hair. I'm not going to be using a lot, but just just a little bit to sort of, I guess, tone it down a, a little because there's you know the, those sort of colours on the cups and obviously on the mushrooms there as well. So I think I thought I'd bring those out just to throw a little bit of a, a touch of different colour. And I've got a little bit of green too in case I want to use that as well. So anyway, I've got the colours all sitting beside me here. So if I decide to go with something else, I've got them close by. So I'll just move those out the way because we're not going to touch those at the moment. And of course, I've, I've, I was agonising over what stencils to use and this kind of thing. Of course, I'll put a few little hearts on there. I don't want to overpower it with hearts. But, you know, you really can't have Alice without having some hearts on it. And and I, have, I wanted a few little circly things. So I've grabbed out these two, well, these three actually, are from Natalie May's... Um, brand stencils so I may use I'm not sure which one yet but anyway I've got those out too and also this is a new one that I got from All and Create that um, I think Nat still has it but she if she doesn't have this particular one um, like recently I've ordered the onion rings and, and that kind of thing there's all those new um, stencils that she's got out that I think would be awesome for this as well um, but anyway um, it really doesn't matter I just wanted something with a bit of a circle on it okay so let's the first thing we'll do is we'll get this um, bad boy covered so I'm just going to mix up I'm using this is a night color but it's um, it's it's just I'm going to be using so much that I've got got my um, bulk selection from my studio here now let's see a nice big thick brush okay don't like these I'll use this one this will do so first of all I'll just grab my spatula and I'm just going you can see that there um, obviously I'll be um, even though this is pre-recorded I'm tuning in tonight just to um, see I, I don't know what the color of is like on your um, screen but my laptop is showing it up to be a purpley color whereas it's in reality here it is a bluey gray so it's a beautiful color I love night it's my go-to color um, so that I don't don't often have to use black so I am just going to paint this uh, I might even go a bit lighter Mostly because I'm oh, throwing a bit more, a bit more of that there as well. Oh, okay, just mix that up. Yeah, I've covered up all my palette, but that's okay. So, I tend not to, I don't like to do lines, I tend to do crisscrossy when I'm doing my canvases. Uh, because I just don't want those lines coming up through through the other layers as I'm doing doing it. Okay. Uh, at this stage, I might not worry about doing the. Uh, the sides because most often I tend to do them one color like a dark color like I'll do the night or Payne's gray Payne's gray which is a, a blue bluey gray sort of color because I'm running out of paint here and I really don't want to mix up anymore because you never get it the same color but I'm just going to spread this across because it should be enough and it doesn't matter if it's not fully covered because it will be what's that look like on the screen yeah gee it's very purpley on the screen so in real life i don't know if it's just my screen um 
on my okay I'm going to leave it at that so yeah usually I, I do the sides later um, in, a, in a darker color and I tend not to do black because I've been told that black cracks so you shouldn't do your sides of your canvas in black and um, so shall just dry this off for a bit so uh, camera I'm up dryer I mean take a little bit of time for it to dry Like I say, I'll try and keep an eye out on the um, comments as we go. I just want to take the shine off the paint. I'm going to do some stenciling over so it doesn't matter if it's still a little bit but it's starting to dry up I can see it's doing that Everyone's had a good weekend. It's warm weather up here, but hasn't been had a little bit of rain over the last couple of days, but not too much. So while I'm drying that off, I'm going to be mixing up a little bit more colour because I'm going to do some stenciling. And I haven't got any paint left. So I'll do two jobs at once while I'm here. I'm okay with that. A bit wet on the sides, I'll just wipe that off. That will do me. Oops, just a bit wet up. There's a bit of paint on that side there. It's wet. Okay, so I shall mix up this again because I want it lighter than what I did before. So I do need to make sure that it is in fact lighter and it gets a quite a grey sort of colour it's a very grey with a little bit, bit of blue in it and that's what I, I like about it so quite often I'll use the night colour rather than using black so let me just grab which I probably could do with a bigger sponge but anyway this will do for now I never thought about that so I'm used to it's been such a long time since I've done done the canvas okay so with um, with all the layers that I'm going to put on I'm actually going to be doing a, a circular or spiral sort of um, shape so be it with stencils or, or paint or whatever I'm doing I'm always going to have that sort of spiral sort of effect going on so and I'm not using all of the stencil in fact I don't even care really well, it's not that I don't care I'm not really bothered about how much I use you know how, how much it's covering 
So I'm just, I just want to be mindful that it's going to go around in a circular, circular shape. And it's just to create a little bit of interest. So I'm not covering the whole thing, but it's just so that you get to see a little bit of design sort of happening there. I'm just creating an interest. I'm not trying not to take it out to the sides to you know to the sides of the stencil because I don't really want the line. But just trying to create that circular sort of motion. Because my, I guess my intention with the background is to make it look like, you know, the, going down the rabbit hole, down, you know, down, going, falling down the rabbit hole. That's kind of where I'm heading with that. I don't mind if it goes over something that I've done before. That's okay too. So you can see now I've come inside here and the idea is I don't want to necessarily see because as it's drying at the top there it's um, disappearing into the background and that's okay. I'm just creating some interest in the background. All right, it's very light up the top there. Oh, can't help myself, I'll go over it again. Maybe I didn't put too much paint on. But that's all right. I can't help myself, that's what it is. It's probably going to dry like all of that's going to dry like it. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. Just get my bucket of water. Okay, so it won't take long for that to dry off because you know there's not much to it. Okay. I will dry it off a little bit around here because I can't do the next part until it is dry. I'm just got to be careful. My paint palette's right where my I've had a rearrange of my studio and this is really the first time I've created with this new setup. So I suppose I'll be um, ironing out the bugs, see what's working and what doesn't work. So has anyone been creating this weekend? Now, don't be afraid to ask any questions about anything. Don't forget there's the All and Create um, special that's happening. So if you spend so much money, you get a, a free stamp. And there's up to three three different stamps that you can collect depending on how much you spend. So, and of course, me being a, an All and Create fanatic, I have got lots of order. Okay, so that's pretty happy with that. So you can sort of see it does go around a little bit in a circular motion. Um, and that's what I was intending. So this is where it's going to get a little bit hit and miss. Um, I'm going to put some more white paint out because I'm just going to add some more layers to this. And I guess I'm going to get a little bit painterly. And actually, I should have a different brush. I'll just a special brush here. Okay. 
couple of special brushes. I don't know how successful they'll be, but I bought them out. But I bought these a long, long time ago. And, well, to be honest, I barely, if I've used them. And, yeah, so they're pretty interesting. There's a fan brush there that's had um, the top bits cut off. And same with the this flat brush has had some of it chopped off too. So it, um, I don't know if you can sort of see that. See that there? Yeah, anyway, we'll see how it goes. A couple of times I've tried to use it and it hasn't been too successful, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, so I might do, before I do that, I might do a few more. Let's lost my stencil already. I might just do a few more of these guys, but in a different colour. And I'm thinking I might, <coughs> excuse me, I might go with the, um, the eggplant and the blackberry mix that I had before. I'm not going to do an awful lot. I won't do as much as what I've done there. I'm just going to do a little bit. Whoops. Just to make it look interesting. And as you can sort of see, one's very purpley and one's a bit red. So I'll just mix those two together. And do I still you know what I oh here, yeah, I've got this in. I might even use the same same sponge because it's blue and it won't really matter because there's the blue background so again i'm going to go in those um this circular motion now it, it may not look terribly crash hot to start off with but once we sort of start blending in all of our layers you know it, it will sort of Take a better shape. I mean, at the moment it'll look a little bit hodgepodgey, but that's okay. We're just a bit, a bit too. I just need to add a little bit up there to make it sort of oops, a bit rounder. It's not looking terribly round there at the moment, but anyway. I don't want to put too much on around here. You could put white into this paint if you want to keep it a little bit um, lighter. But like I say, you know, I'm not afraid to go through and, and put in another layer of something to push that colour back. Because by the time we finish off putting all our layers, We've got to put our collage, collage papers on and it's not going to be anywhere as intimidating as it possibly might look now. Okay. So you can see I'm sort of taking on that um, rounded sort of shape when I'm doing it. just got something that re resembles a circular shape something you should be careful of too if you are doing a canvas not to push down too hard okay we, because you will stretch your canvas you can put the little wooden chips in in the sides of it if you do stretch it but it's best to try and not stretch it of course Dry that off. It doesn't look like it's going to need much drying. Now I don't know if you can sort of see, but um, just 
going to just look up in the screen and then I can sort of see that it doesn't look it's just sort of come down there like that a bit yeah just bring it out here I don't really want to get too fussy with it I know I am being fussy but so I don't want to cover up what's underneath it either but looks like number six now but anyway that's okay it's annoying me sorry guys I look up in the screen and I see it and I think oh gosh it's annoying me but anyway like I say it's going to be all covered we'll make sure we bring some stuff down here there's actually going to be little um obviously Alice will be in the middle here and then the other images that we have let's bring them out the other images that we have well we'll have the cards up here the Mad Hat is there we'll have cups and saucers here and the cake you know that kind of thing and then the bottles will be on one side and the mushy will be on the other side okay and down here will be you know Alice will be in be in the middle there somewhere and then we'll have the words as well okay so it'll be quite covered up that's why I, I chose to a 40 by 40 um, canvas because I, I we're trying to get two A4 sheets which is essentially an A3 so you can see there's really not a lot of space left over so I felt the 30 by 30 which is a pretty common one for people to buy might be just that little bit too um, small crowded okay let me see I want to go back to doing what we were going to do is some I'm going to grab oops what I will do is I'm going to, I'll try I'm not just not sure I'll try this one I'd like to think it will work but it's because it's so soft that I don't know that it's going to work terribly well so what I'm going to do is and if it if this doesn't work I'm going to go back to a flat brush but I'm just kind of hoping that this will work so I hope you can sort of see what I'm doing on the side there so it's kind of got some and I'm just going around in the circles because I feel like it's going to take forever to do it this way, but we'll, we'll see. Because what I'm doing now is I'm trying to push back the, um, the stenciling. Okay, so and eventually, so every layer that I do will always be in this spiral effect. because I want to get that feeling of movement. And when I'm doing this too, um, you need to twist your fingers because that brush needs to twist in your hand. You've got to be careful because I, I don't want too much. See, like there's too much paint up there, but that's okay. It's giving it that swifty, swishy look. So it's not too bad and by incorporating the color that's in the background it means that i'm just softening up what i've got here now of course you don't have to do a canvas i just sort of thought oh i just i don't know i just sort of thought of, it's quite lively and pretty the fabric of the paper and i just felt i wanted to do something so i'm looking so to me that looks like it's it's got movement in it i you know i feel like there's a it's that vortexy type I suppose you want to call it i don't know we've got the wrong science term there but let's see how we go i just felt that the images needed something a little bit more than my journal because I wouldn't say I was a big Alice fan, but when I started thinking about this canvas, 
I got quite excited and I thought, yeah, I'd like that hanging up on my wall. So it'll go up on, in my studio here. Okay, so I'll just put a little bit in here. Probably putting in more than I need, but that's okay. I'll go overboard with everything. Um, Alright, so I'll put that in the water. I'm probably going to be... Sorry, I did that. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty cool at the minute. Just turn that side there a bit. Okay, um, so I'll just... I'm just going to dry that off because some parts are a little bit wetter than others. Just move that over there so I don't get it in. So I do think it looks pretty cool but from what I can see on the screen. It's looking okay. It's got that um, bit of a vortex. Is it a vortex what I'm talking about? I can't, don't know if I've got the right science term there. But we'll, we'll go with that for today. But you know, ooh, that optical illusion where it Awesome. Now, I hope I've got, I'm just going to make up a little bit more of this paint. Didn't realise I was going to be using quite so much. It might not be quite the same colour and that's okay because if anything, that's all to the, all to the interest. Adds layers, adds different textures and Okay, don't need to overwork that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the penny, give that a bit of a shake because I haven't used it for a while, and medieval. So I'm just put them a bit on my palette. Medieval there. So they are a slightly shimmery um, paint. And so what I'm going to do now is what we call, I'm going to, well, I was going to say double load, but I think I'm actually going to be triple loading. So I'll sort of show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to try this guy out, see if that, that works this time. And again, going back into the background colour, the original one that I did. Okay. And what we do when we're side loading, put that over there, we get our brush and just put a little bit of paint. I don't know how that's going to work, but um, because of the brushes that we're using. So we'll just sort of see. Um, so can you sort of see now there, I've got the three colours blending there. And again, I'll just tap it off a little bit. I'm going to start at the top and then just do some more. Whoops. Do that very well. It's too straight that one, but that's okay. So more paint. I don't know if you can even see that. I did it very lightly, so I'll get a little bit more adventurous this time. Okay. So the idea is it will blend in. I don't want too much. Get a little bit, little bit. And you can see I'm actually turning the brush right round in a 360. Okay? Because if you don't, you get what I've done down there and you get that really is what I'm going to do is I'm going to it's probably going to be covered up anyway with the words, so I'm not terribly worried about it. And then I'm just so let's go back out. I'm not doing much of this. 
and you know you don't have to do it if you don't want to because it can be um, a little intimidating when you're first learning to do it as you can see I haven't done it for a while so I'm not very good at it but um, we are but if anything I mean I can see it quite a lot in my studio here but on the screen it's not showing up very much I'll, I'll bring it up in a minute I'm just standing up so I can sort of see it see it a bit better and again more of it and it, it's got that not it's got a nice shimmer to it too now so I'm going to leave that I think put that brush in the water and I'll just lift it up a little bit just so you can sort of see there's not much down there but that's okay there's a lot in the middle but a lot of that's going to be covered with the collage so I'm not too worried about you know it not being even and that kind of thing again like I say with all of these things it's just a little bit of interest okay so we'll just dry that off a little bit One will dry and I think I want to have another little go with it using the lapis and the ocean although what I'll do with this one is I'll mix the two together because lapis is quite an intense color so I, I tend not to come on, tend not to use it too much use it quite so I've just added a little bit more of the ocean in that so it becomes a little bit more greenier than what I mixed up before. So I shall just mix that up a little bit. It's a beautiful colour. Kind of, kind of reminds me of like a peacock sort of colour. So I will change over to... Oh no, we're going to use brushes. It's alright, don't worry about me. Um... I might go back to my fan brush now I'm just excuse me I'm just going to try and dry it off as much as possible fan brushes are always better if they're dry so I'm just it won't be perfectly dry but it'll be dry enough to, um, to fix that up a bit so I'm just going to sweep it up on one side, okay? So I've just got it on one side and I shall just very lightly so I can always brush that grey, the bluey grey colour which I'm running out of of course. Just a little bit, put a little bit of blue around here and probably won't do much of the blue but the blue does look nice, I have to admit. Whoop. When you first do it, it's quite heavy handed, so I have to mix up some more of that grey. Whoop, just excuse that, someone's going to the front door. The children are home. My daughter and grandkids and they've been out on the Gold Coast today. So that's nice and then. So this is going to be a nice light mix. And quite often, you know, I don't over mix when, when I'm staying, especially when I'm doing canvases. I like to mix it on. So I'm going to, I've got it kind of on the top this time so it doesn't come out quite as heavy. And I'm just barely, I'm just kissing the top of it's just my alarm letting me know that someone's at the front door. 
put that there. Grab a little bit more blue for across the top. probably hear the children making a bit of noise later because I believe they were going to go into the pool when they got home. So I'm sure that's going to be the case. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. Enough, enough, enough. Okay, so I think we've done more than enough that. We've added some extra colours for interest. Let's try and bring it up a little bit for you to have a look. So you can see a little bit of blue, a little bit of brownish colour, and obviously that purpley colour as well. Again, a quick burst of heat. Now, I will probably put a little bit of stamping on this, only because, you know, I just have to. Um, but stamping on canvases doesn't always work so what I will do is just add a little bit of I might even do it in white um, the dots from Claire Stead the little um, dot st uh, stamp I always have this sitting on my desk handy so this little one here and so it won't matter if it doesn't come out perfectly because I do it by hand anyway and I might just do a little bit white rather than because I'm not really going to town with black so I've got my you could use gesso if you don't have a white stamp pad um, well my stamp pads getting a bit gray now because of I'm always using it so I'll just do a little bit of go in there, a little bit of stamping. Don't want too much, just to add a little bit of interest. Yeah, because, you know, I wouldn't, well, I don't know that I would even do, you know, words or anything like that. I'm trying to keep into that spiral a little bit. Uh, because canvases, unless you've got it propped up underneath, you know, it might work. But gen generally speaking, canvases aren't good for stamping, generally. They're just a bit harder to do. Okay, so you can see I've got a little bit there, not much. So she, as she keeps going... What I'm trying to do is, is just putting it where the um, oh where the spiral isn't sort of going so that you can see so it's not obvious that the spiral isn't perfect. There you go. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, let it go, let it go, let it go. Alright, put that back. Clean my stamp off because it's making my stamp pad grey. Alright, so now I will find the little the heart stencil and oh, I haven't got the ruby out. Where's my ruby? A little bit of ruby. Okay, I'm going to use ruby. Ruby's a little bit of a warm red, which I sort of see a little bit of I don't know if you'll see it on here, but I see it as a slightly warmer red, although that, that's probably a little bit warmer, but um, it's probably not quite perfect, but it'll do, okay? And in fact, I'm probably going to put a little bit of white. Oh, I've got some white out, so I'll leave that. Clean off my... Excuse me a minute, if I'm off camera here, I'm trying to clean off my silicon spatula. Actually, I'll just grab what I've got. 
stuff all over me here. Okay. All right, so again, with the, the stars, um, the hearts, sorry, I'll go around a little bit around the circle. You'll be dizzy by the time I'm finished with you tonight. Actually, I probably need more than that. Even though I'm only doing it a little bit and light, so I'll use that. And I will put a little bit of white into it because I don't want to make it too light. But sometimes I find putting adding white to a colour actually makes it thicker because I do find that the red can be a little bit thinning. It's translucent and if I, you add white to it, but of course obviously it's going to change the colour because it, um, but that's okay because I'm only going to do it lightly. And again, I shall do, I'll start off here, whoops, just do, and look I'm barely touching it, barely, barely, barely touching it. I'm not even sure if I'm getting good um, hearts out of here. We'll, we'll put some more hearts on later. So, see, it's just there as a little bit of um, interest. Probably could have gotten done it a little bit better than that, but that's okay. They're not going to come out terribly clear too because of the background that Janet's on. So, you know, they won't be looking as deliberate or beautiful as you probably would normally do it. But that's okay. We're just adding layers. We're just pr providing interest and layers at this point. Not sure how far to go there. Right. Intending to put this many on actually, I was just get carried away. Oh, it's gone down there a bit. It's a bit heart shaped up there, isn't it? All right, well, so we'll come down here. take it off and I'll have a look at it and just see what, what more needs to be done so let's have a look at that probably could do with a few more now running out of paint that's okay so I'll just do a few more around here They may or may not be seen at the end, but they look pretty cool. Yeah, a few little, a few little ones on the edge. There we go. Stop! 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 Okay. All right, so we've got that there, and so now we will add some splatters, I think. Yep, so I'll add some splatters. Um, I've got some white out there. I am going to... Oh, where's that one? Uh, where is my... Oh, I don't have my... Oh, there it is. It's all right, I lost my fan brush so I might just try to dry him off again so I'm just keeping this paper handy so that 
It won't be perfect because sp splatters I tend to like a dry brush, but that's okay. Okay, so we shall get I'm just gonna put a little bit of water into there so I can make that quite wet there. It might get a bit of pink in it, but that's okay. We can do all different colours in the um, splatters, so we'll just, again, around in the circle. Doesn't mean I can't put them anywhere else, but the concentration will be... as there's a spiral oh that's looking nice i hope you can see it as well as i can sort of see it here i hope it's showing up on your cameras as well as it is on mine because it's just need a couple of big blobs a couple in the corner all right, that will do for that. And I'm thinking that I would like, we might put a little bit in the ruby. I don't like, normally I don't like to do ruby too much. In fact, I'll put a little bit there. I prefer it to be pink because sometimes I find that red splatters look like someone's taken to the ax. Someone's been attacked with an ax. And we don't want that. So as you can see here, I've just made a few little pinky Oh, I think I just splattered myself. All right. Okay, I'll leave that as that. Okay, now I want to put a few, couple of green ones on because we've got our bottles. Now the bottles are going to go on this side and then put the mushies on, say, that side. So I thought I might, there's a little bit of green on the mushies, but there's a bit of green on the bottle. So just to sort of tie it in a little bit, I'm not doing much. I'll probably just put a little bit on those edges there. Leave it like that. Oops, too much water, of course. Come on, guys. Okay, the white's gone into it. That's okay. So I will put, oh, it's all white now. Look, I can see it's a little bit green. I don't know if you can, but I'm just going to put that little bit of green. Just there. All right. Okay. Just trying to clean up as I go along a bit. All right. Let's have a look at that. Um, Yeah, I'm wondering whether I'm going to grab, I know I'm probably overdoing it a little bit. Actually, I've got, I'm going to put some of the, um, what did I just have? Penny. I decided I want to do some penny um, splatters. I've got a little bit of penny here. Just putting a bit of water onto it. So I'm just going to... Maybe around the edges a bit. Oops. In the middle. Probably needs a little bit more water because it's a shimmery paint. Anyway, 
that will do. And look, that's the kind of thing you're not going to see unless you're up close to it. Just a bit of heat on those. Some of those are big drops, so we'll have a look at that. Make sure they're dry before we move on. So the next thing that we're going to do is our collage paper. Actually, so what I'll do is I'll just put this aside to let it dry off a bit. Play with our collage paper. Keep saying collage. Our collage paper for a little bit. And if it needs to dry off later, I will do it. Okay, right, let's see. We've got this girl here. And I shall get a brush. Nice big brush there. Grab some water and I'm going to just go around the outside. Just being careful because I might as well just rip that. As I go, I just want to roughen up the edge a bit so it's not too, too bad. Now obviously we will have to blend uh, into the page, uh, to the canvas, and um, we'll just do that by repeating some of those bits that we did before. As much as I'd love to have that circle on there, I shan't. So I'm just trying to avoid her hair, I want to keep her hair on. Keep your hair on, lady. And I shall, while oh, I've got it here, Right. Normally I would probably, um, you know, cut up the saying and put it all over the plate, but I, I won't with this. I'll just glue it onto the page as it is here, onto the canvas as it is here. I'm not used to doing canvases. And that will be fine. And we're going to embed these onto the canvas so that they look like they're part of the deal. So it means we'll have to go through and add some detailing to them. So let them dry off for a bit over there. We'll do these guys. I've got some of the circle stencils, like I said before, but honestly, I think a, a um, paint splatter stencil would be awesome. I'll have to see if Nat can organise that. But I think this would really, really suit having um, a paint stencil to add some more splatters because this, you know, this thing's just littered with splatters which is why I went crazy with the splatters before but we'll use the little dots I've just got to decide which one I want to use there's a few choices there that we can we can use whoops oh dear I took a bit of his head off that's okay just find it's easier and you get a much more generic or what is it organic what's the word you know organic sort of look when when these are added onto the page it's starting to dry up a bit but it's still rippable Gotta be careful around there because they're very close to each other. Try to do the 
best we can. We don't rip anything off. Just to take all that straight edge off. I'm sure you've all done this before. more and then we're finished. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. Don't like them to be too perfect. Oh. Right. Okay. Get all that out of the way. Now, um, I might just put my canvas, my palette over there for the minute. We won't be using that just now. Oh, okay. oh actually I will be for it. What we'll do is place these on here. Now the first thing I'll do, and I'll just lightly place them for the minute and then we'll work out what we're, what we're doing. So I may put them a little bit off. Maybe going that way. A little bit off. I don't want them. Yeah, no, that's it. That one can go that way. Oops. Lay, lay. Okay, the cake can go there, and the mad hatter there, and the big bottle, and big bottle with the little bottle. And we have something like that and our mushroom will go over there something like that just stand up so I can see if I now the girl that's probably I just want her up a little bit I don't want her exactly centre and then we'll put our like that okay Kind of like that. Obviously, I'll do them straighter. All right, so that's pretty much what I want to do with that. But before I do that, because we've got a deepish background, I really do need to chill up and grab some gesso. Ready to use gesso. And use this. This brush here. Okay, we actually don't have a lot more to do, just a, a little bit. But so around here, I want to cover her face, bring that down a little bit. Okay. Uh, something like that, yeah, that will do nicely. Same with this, I'm just going to do a little bit, just a little bit, so that if it comes through, you know, we've got pretty much, because I don't want to mess everything up. Leave that like that. So I don't want to bring, need to make sure I don't mess up too much. I mean, you may, may not need it on these, but I just think it would be nice to make sure that some of it comes through. Okay. Alright, so we'll just leave that like that. 
Okay. I'll just quickly, oh, and I better put some underneath that actually. and then we'll start going on. So I'm hoping not to keep you too long tonight. It might take a little bit longer than I normally do. But I try to keep it to an hour and a half. But because it's a larger canvas, but we really don't have a lot to do after doing this. We'll put these guys on and then we just need to do a bit of painting to blend them back in, painting and stenciling. And then I'll be adding um, a little bit of um, embossing powder in a different way to what I normally would do. So. But of course, you, you know, if you can't stay longer, you can always come back and watch the video later. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my precious friend here. Now, recently I've been cleaning up and I've come across this um, medium. And I quite like it. Particularly, oh, jeez particularly for um, you know putting your collage papers down so I'm going to use this and I might just do that for this I'm going to oh don't want to go that high about there ish so I'm not putting it all down so I'm just going to Have a little bit of, and I've decided that I will use my wedge, I think. See how that goes. Now, I have to be careful because we're going on to um, canvas, so it might be a little trickier. I don't know if that's working for me. So, I'll, we'll see how this one goes, which is a shame because it's the main one. But we'll see how that goes. Now I would like, recommend lightly doing this because you are going onto a canvas and you need to really push out any bubbles that you have. But again, do not press too hard because you don't want to ruin your girl. Okay, so it's a bit of a hit and miss until we get this, this right. I'll probably end up using more than I really need to and that's okay so if I bring that over there like that I can see there's a little oh no it's a I think there might be a bit of paint or something underneath there okay I hope I'm not talking too soft huh? Concentrating on what I'm doing here, and I'm not sure if I'm talking properly. Okay, good. So you can sort of see that the outline is blending in a bit. So, but you can see that on her face is pretty, pretty white. So. The back, in other words, the background's not coming through, is what I mean. Oops. So let's just put heaps of coming out much further than I need to and keeping that there. You can see I'm brushing from the center and going out. Then I think 
Okay, right, so that's that one. Let, oh, I'm going to put the paint on then. Okay, so spread this all out. Put that all on. Oops. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay, happy with that. What am I doing now? This. Awesome. We're cooking with gas here now. Oops. As I say that, as I've got heaps of air bubbles in that. It's also too because the um, it's on the side of the canvas, so. Here, there's wooden frames, so it's all nice, feels different. So, you know, it's um, not necessarily going on quite the same. But it's all good. I'm happy so far. Get that right out. So quite often a brush just isn't isn't right. Um alright, what do I need? Oh cups of tea. Oh I could do with a cup of tea right now. Beautiful. Now we've just got our two bottles and then we're finished that part anyway. Put that one there. And then this one here. Probably used a lot more medium than I need to, but you know, that's okay. Don't want to cover anything up. Like Beautiful, beautiful. It's like we're meant to be together. Just a quick. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the way I've. Oh, I haven't done this. So let's just see. I'll just oh, mm, come up a bit. Oh, being too pedantic. Okay. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's looking good there. Okay, so we'll just get rid of all this stuff. I've got glue everywhere here. I'll have to clean that off properly later. So I will have to heat heat this until it's nice and dry. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far okay get on that get that out of the way and here we go oh, here we go just 
do these ones because they were the last done. So I'm pretty happy with it. Her face has come up okay, so managed to um, fix that up okay. A lot of whiteness here, so this is where we need to use our colours again um, to tone back some of that. We'll push the colour back onto to there. Sure it is all dry. And it is adhered nicely. Um. All right. Okay. Bring back our palette. So I've got a bit of paper, uh, paint here. So this is where I'm going to. I'll get a new sponge. Yeah, one there. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got the um, original background color. So I'm just going to start tapping and blending. So I'll be able to add, so don't worry if you go over your print a little bit, that's okay, because we'll add some of the um, stenciling as well and all of that. We just want to try not to go over the, the main image too much, but you just really need to get that background pushed back a little bit. Okay. And we'll just take a little bit of um, just make sure I'm in camera there. Yeah, we'll just take a little bit of um, stenciling and work just to sort of get it back. And this is where the beauty of splatters and all that kind of thing is magical because it does. Blend those things nicely. So it's not, and it's not looking like it's too blended at the moment because we've got a lot of red in that underneath there too. So we'll put a few more red um, hearts around the place. And can you see I'm just trying to, this is where I've got to be careful because my canvas is bouncing up and down so I don't want to stretch it too much. You could use another sponge I suppose, a clean sponge if you didn't want to get your hands dirty. That's what art is all about, is getting our hands dirty. Is she looking there? Yeah. Okay. I must admit the um, background is a little bit lighter than what we did before, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get round that.
one on this thing. Oops. Now, if I go over that writing too much like I did just there, I can, I can always put the pen back onto that later. I don't mind actually a bit of... in there and um, all right okay so we will so the first thing that I did was we'll go back I'll do some of this stuff so we got the wool a lot I'll mix a bit more because just like to make sure that we got plenty on there Mix that up a little bit. Beautiful. Now I've got my purple sponge from before. Now I am going to go back to this one originally. So I'm just very lightly, I'm just going to be pouncing a little bit of. What am I doing there? Just a little bit around and then just trying I'm trying to keep it into that you know the circular shape so I hope I don't lose sight of that I'm trying not to but anyway we'll see how it goes circular sort of theme from before. I need some more paint. Not probably exactly the same as what it was the first time around, that's okay. Just trying to blend our pages back in again. So I'll put some more hearts around there like we did before. So here I am just adding Sponge isn't looking so good. That's okay. It's not looking all right over there. And some of that in over there as well. Put some hearts over in the corner there. So let's just have a go, we'll just have a little bit coming into here. Just bring it out here a little bit, just a little bit. Sorry about the doorbell, that's just my chilled family home again. Okay. 
beautiful. Okay, what does that look like? Yep, okay. So you can see I've done a lot more on there purely because we're trying to push that back a bit. All right, but we'll put more on. Okay, so I probably won't be doing the um, spirals like I did before. Um, you know, if anything, I'll just do something like this just to bring bring a spiral back into around in some parts here. Not to, I'm not going to get as carried away as I did before. Okay, I'm not even sure if you can see them much there. Make sure I put some on. Put some around her because I'm just trying to embed her quite nicely into the spiral effect. You see how she goes around there. Don't want to cover her up too much. Okay, you you can't sort of see much there, but anyway, it's 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 there. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'll do some splatters now. Um, grab some paper, grab some paper, oh. I don't mind if a few splatters get on her, but not all of them, so I'm just... Like that. I just like to take the corners off just in case. Okay, so I'll put that on there like that. A little bit on the hat so we don't cover him up too much. The, the main bits here I'll cover up, but I don't want to cover it up too much. I'm not worried about the, the mushies and the a little bit on the cake and a little bit on cups and saucers. All right. Oh, didn't do that. Got to go nicely there. Beautiful. All right. There we go. That'll do. Okay. So, get my, um, where is it? Sorry, out again. I'll get this. Uh, fan brush. Got some white there. Let's see how we can. It's going to be more pink than white there now. That's okay. Cool. Again, we'll go around in circles. I'm not deliberately trying to get it onto the mushrooms and that but I'm not going to cry if it does end up there beautiful okay um I think I want I think I might oh excuse me oh the nose has gotten itchy all of a sudden might put a little bit of green there. Lots of water. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, nice and nice and juicy on there. I'm adding a little bit more green this time. It's a nice little contrast. Is it just a little bit of green there, but enough for for it to make it pop. Green's a little bit like yellow. Um, just makes things pop. Apologies if you can hear my grandchildren out the back there. They're swimming and get a little bit carried away. Yeah, a bit more. Oh, not that much more. Gosh, 
Didn't mean to do that. Ugh. All right. Okay. So I'm going to dry that off because I'm not going to do any more than that for the splatters. I will probably do a few more little hearts. I think it's important to do the hearts. So let me do that and then I'm going to do a little bit of embossing and then I'm going to call it done. So I'd better dry them off first before I do it. I probably should put a few blue splatters on because she's got a lot of blue on her as part of the collage paper. So I probably should do that too. So maybe I'll do that first before I... And I might just leave it as the ocean colour because that'll add a little bit of a pop too, I think. Losing it. Why do I keep losing it? Anyway, I'll use this instead. So I'm mixing up the ocean colour. So this will pop out a little. Oh, probably should put at least back onto her face. Oops. Oops. Silly brush. It's making marks. Terrible brush. Oh, there it is there. Make sure there's plenty on her and him. Okay, now good to dry off. A few hearts and then I'm just going to do the embossing and then I'm going to call it done. So... Like I say, it may take me to the two hour mark, so my apologies for that. But I think you'll find it'll look pretty, pretty cool by the time we're finished. You don't have to get as adventurous as this. Um, you can make it much more simplistic, but I just, I don't know, for some reason I just really like the papers and I really wanted to do them justice, so I thought, no. Mm, I needed to step up a bit. Got a really fine black pen that I I make. I'll go up. I'll go over. I might even put some colour in it too, but I might may do that off camera because I'm not sure if the pen will work on the canvas so I just have to be careful Okay, um, right, the hearts, a bit of red and a little bit of white because I don't want to make them too bright. I might just chop that off a little bit because it's looking a bit sad. No, no, it makes it smaller, but that's okay. Alright, so, and I, I, I'll go around the circle, but it will be just very minimal. There we go. Where am I there? A few up here.
flash. Where's the red? Oh. There's a lot of red. Maybe how come on. We're on the home stretch, so hopefully I've still managed to keep some of you. I'm making sure that I do take it over on to there we go, just, just taking a few out to the making sure I've got some on there and taking them out to the edge so that your eye travels around that way. Around the corner there, take them on to oh, hardly covered this. Okay. And so, if you've got a part where it really bothers you, you can just make sure you cover it up with some. Um, some hearts particularly if the um, pushing that this, oh, sorry I've lost my words I can't think what I'm trying to say if your um, collage paper is sticking out too much that you can see where it's annoying you it's kind of annoying me here but I will play with something with that I don't know if I want to put the hearts all over it I'm gonna to have to redo that whole writing section I think because it really isn't traveling very well at the moment Um, just a little bit up there, connect it to the edge, canvas, connected, 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 connected up here a bit more, that needs connecting up there a little bit more, just a little while, uh, oh, oh. Uh, connected, connected, she's connected. Okay. Connect that down to the bottom. All right. Okay. So, I mean, I'll probably do a lot more with that. I'm going to have to definitely do something with that of, but I will go over that um, off camera. Because what I want to do now is do the embossing just so that we can... All it done okay just dry off a little bit she's looking pretty cool I feel like I don't know I'll, I'll see what it's like when I've hit off camera but I feel like I want to bring that swirl back in again. I feel like we've lost a lot of that swirl. So we'll we'll see. I, I don't know. I'll need to think about that. Um, so what I'm going to do with the um, with some embossing, I'm going to use, I might use two different colours. But I'm going to show you slightly, well, it's not a new technique or anything like that, but it's not something that I've done with you before. But it's by certainly no means, by any means, a new technique. It's just done a bit differently. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do a little section at a time. So, and I'm not going to put it all over. Let's get rid of all of that. 
Well, let's get that over there so I don't knock that. So, oh, oh, sorry, I should tell you, what I'm using here is the Victorian Bouquet set. Um, now, I think Nat still has a set of these, but, oh, honestly, I, I seem to use them a lot of late. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do there, I don't want that to be seen at the moment. So I'm just going to do a little bit, like sort of one section at a time because it's so huge. I can't do it all at once. And um, yeah, so here we go. Actually, I'll just get dirty with the water. Just a minute, please. sitting in the bowl and it's ended up with gesso or something all over it. Okay, so just drying it off a little bit. I'm using a fan brush. I'm using a pretty big, relative, ugh, relatively big fan brush. Okay, it is wet, but it's going to be wet anyway. So what I'm going to do this time, instead of using the usual um, embossing um, stamp pad, I'm just going to use water okay so I dip dip my brush into the water I'll just tap it off a little bit because I, I don't want to do too much so I'm just going to just around here a little bit okay I can see that it's not much it's you might think it's a lot, but it's actually, I'm not doing a, a lot more. So now this is where I need this here because I'm going to sprinkle. I'm looking down the side so I can see where I've done it. So wherever I've got water, I'm going to sprinkle. I mean, I know I've got a lot of area to do here, so it doesn't matter if you don't get all of it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'll stand that up. And again, it's going to get very messy. I haven't told you what colour I've used here. Sorry, I should. It's um. Oh, midnight ruby so it's a ready sort of color it's one of my favorites I'm just, sorry I just don't like powder on the desk because I don't want the heat gun activating it because as you'll see you can activate it even with just water so if there's any wet wet on the um, So you can can you sort of see that there's just splotches of it all over the place. Again, just heat set it like you would normally. Embossing powder only needs moisture to set it. Okay. Although it sometimes can take a little bit longer when it's just water, but it's starting to activate now. But I have to be careful too because I've got all of that, um, in, what is it, the gel medium on here. I'm turning it this way. So it does take, I, well I find it takes a little bit longer for it to activate. it's activating now so 
Some of these splotches are probably a bit bigger than what I was hoping for, but that's okay. I don't mind, just, oh. Now if your gel medium bubbles, just lift it away. Usually settles down, but um, you know, unfortunately you've got to apply heat to get it moving. So just be sensible and you won't set yourself on fire. I'll bring that up a little bit. Hopefully you can sort of see it. I won't be able to do this for too long because it gets heavy. Such a cool technique. So you girls who like to, like me, who like to play with embossing powders, give this one a go. Just sprinkling water, that's all I did. Water instead of embossing powder, uh, and embossing ink. All right, leave that like that. Let's try it again. Oops. Let's make sure there's none on her. Her face. All right, that'll do for that. Bring our paper over. It's probably a bit messier than the normal one too. I, I'm always messy with that, so this one's probably a little bit hard because I'm doing it on the canvas. Um, I would have thought that you doing it in your journal would be simpler. Now, if you get it on something that you don't want to, like if it's covering up the cake too much or something like that, just brush it off. Okay, you just don't have to. Now. I wish I had an A3 sheet of paper, but anyway. Probably do somewhere, but... Oh. Such a waste of... Okay, so you can see there some more has happened. This is the boring bit. It's, it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Let's start off the top. You just have to learn to be patient with this one because it does take a bit longer and plus I guess I'm covering a larger area too so you know it's, it's got to take a long time but she's working well So I guess I like this because 
it is paint splotchy. Oh, the all over the writing. Oh, I will definitely have to do it now. Um, it's oh, sorry, what was I saying? It, it's um, yeah, it likes paint splatters, so I quite like it done this way. You don't need to use stamps because, like I was saying before, stamps don't work terribly well on canvases. The, it's only bubbled that once the um, the gel medium, so you know it must have done a pretty good job of thinning that out. So that's good because you know I'm applying a lot of heat here, and it's only that once that it's bubbled up. It probably will bubble up in the other way. I've said that. Okay, right here we go, a little bit up this end now, so I don't want any on her, but I do want to go inside there a little bit. Okay, there's my paper, there it is. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. Sorry guys for very much. on that before I knock it everywhere. Yeah. Just make sure there's none on her before I start doing it. So it's looking pretty cool at the moment. I just think this, um, you probably don't have to do it quite as much as what I've done here, I'm, but I'm actually happy with the, the amount of embossing on here. The fact that it's just little tiny bits everywhere is good from, as far as I'm concerned.
one more section to go and then we call it done then. Okay, right, one more, and then we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever's watching. Okay. Oh, I was going to put two colours, but I won't be. Done quite enough here. Okay. All right, last time.
Okay, sorry, I'll get the fell asleep then for a minute. Just a little bit, just double checking that I've got all the bits activated. Alright, okay, let me just, actually what I might do is just pull this off all together. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just grab my little brush here, just go over the top just in case there is some powder that hasn't activated. And I'll just rub it off. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done the words. I wasn't going to originally, and then I thought, ah, oh, I'll do it. So, all right. Okay, so that is pretty much it done. I will go over the writing. I, I won't bore you with that right now because I'm going to have to spend a bit of time on it. And yes, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So thank you for joining me tonight. I hope it has inspired you to give this technique a go. So it's just water that's been sprinkled onto your journal. You can do it in your journal as well. And um, yeah, so I'll fix up the, um, the wording and I'll take a photo and put it up on the web for you. But that's pretty much it for, for tonight's session. And I thank you very much for sticking by. Thanks a lot, girls. See you later. Bye.